A warm welcome from my end. I'm Olaf Drümmer from Axayo Software and I have Karina Zander uh, sitting next to me. Uh, she's taking uh, questions you can submit by using the question feature in, in the webinar software. And also in the back office we have Justine Trio who's taking care of the webinar logistics. This presentation is about uh, creation of PDF forms in uh, Adobe InDesign and how Made to Tech may make your life easier uh, when you're uh, working on, on PDF forms in, uh, in design. Let's just explain briefly for those who have been around from the beginning of uh, this webinar. Uh, Metatech is a plugin for Adobe InDesign. It's available for CS6 through CC 2015 on Mac and Windows. And it's, uh, at least from our point of view, the, the best option you have when you have to create tag PDF or PDF UA files in order to ensure fully accessible PDF documents. It sits on top of features in Adobe InDesign, takes advantage of these features and enhances them and adds uh, quite a bunch of additional options uh, like color highlighting for tagging structure or table structure and so forth, uh, advanced table, table tagging options uh, and nu numerous other features. I will not talk much about the, these tag PDF oriented features but instead will focus on an absolutely new feature that has just become available um, the MetaTag plugin that helps with the creation of interactive PDF forms. And the focus is on, on making uh, the creation of interactive PDF forms much more, much more efficient than it would be otherwise. So I'm not sure how many of you have tried to, to build uh, PDF forms using uh, Adobe InDesign, but I, I assume that uh, because you have, have joined uh, us for this webinar, you have uh, some experience in this field. As I want to avoid to just uh, using uh, slides and, and talking all the time, um, I prefer to just jump into a demo, uh, which I will do right now. Let me move over to Adobe InDesign. And, and for the purpose of this uh, webinar, I've decided to, to use a very, very simple example file where the goal is to create an interactive form where you can fill in your credit card number. Um, and I guess this should look familiar to you. It's just a piece of text sitting on the page. And then there's an interactive form field. Uh, as you can see in the upper right, it has been configured to be a text field. It has a name called uh, surprisingly credit card number. Uh, it's printable, font size is 12 point, not much else is configured here. And options are limited anyway. So let me use uh, Adobe InDesign's uh, uh, export feature to interactive PDF. Um, that looks good. Um, let's check the options for the export. Uh, so I'm asking that forms and media are included, which makes a lot, like, makes a lot of sense if you want to create forms. Um, I'll leave the create tag PDF checkbox uh, checked. Uh, it's not of much importance in this context. And I'll leave view after exporting checked. Um, so they are the PDF that is exported will open right away in Adobe Acrobat. So let me do this and this looks pretty much as we would have expected. There's the text again and the form field. By the way, the blue highlighting comes from the Adobe Acrobat applications. It's not built into the PDF file. Uh, and now let's enter a credit card number. Like uh, maybe not the, the most interesting one, uh, but this could be uh, a credit card number. As uh, quite a few of you will agree, this is not the nicest way how an interactive form could present itself on screen. It would be nice to, to have some more control over the formatting of the number, uh, the appearance, maybe some color, maybe some intelligence, uh, so that if we enter something else, uh, like, like this for example, that we would be informed um, that this uh, is not uh, an acceptable credit card number yet. Um, normally what you have to do um, when you work with Adobe InDesign and you want some of these extra uh, features, you will have to do some work in Adobe Acrobat. And I will do exactly that because by doing so I will create a template that can be used by made to tech in InDesign for a future export to interactive PDF forms. Um, so hang on while, while I'm doing this, let me go to prepare form and let me edit the, the, um, the form field here. 
So again, this is usual stuff in uh, Adobe Acrobat. I already have the name and tooltip uh, that I want, um, but I want to change some of the experience. I don't want any border color, uh, so I make the border transparent. Um, I want a slightly bigger font size, I want a completely different font. So for this purpose I'll be using the OCRA standard font. Um, that's fine. The position I will always leave as is, as, as it comes from Adobe InDesign. Um, under the options I want to take advantage of the possibility um, to have a comb of, of characters so that the characters are evenly spaced. Um, and because the credit card has 12 digits and I want the minus signs of the hyphens in between, that makes it 19 characters. Um, regarding the actions, I'll leave it as it is. Also formatting, I could do a number of things um, and that would probably also be a formatting rule for credit card numbers, but I won't do that. Um, and I want to do some validation to protect the, the form against being filled out in a complete, completely useless fashion. Uh, in order to do that, I will run a validation script. And instead of typing it here, and making lots of spelling mistakes, I'll grab it uh, from uh, some script I have prepared. And let me enlarge this a little bit so that you can see what it is actually doing. And um, just lost a little bit of time how it's doing this again. So what, what text edit does, and I will close it again because it doesn't make a lot of sense, it turns my my double quotes into a, um, typographic quotes. And this is not what I want. So I'll open this in a different editor. Okay. Oops. Uh, text. Anyway, so this is not very large type. I have to make sure I have the double quotes as needed for scripting. I'll grab this uh, piece of, of uh, JavaScript, which essentially does the following. It checks what the length of the entry is, and if it's not zero and it's not 19, it will complain and it will tell the user that the credit card number must have 16 digits and it must be formatted like shown here. This is a very simple validation script, and of course any, any uh, well-behaved interactive form would have uh, much more sophisticated checking built into the JavaScript. But I wanted to keep it simple here uh, for this exercise. I'm copying it over into my JavaScript window in Adobe Acrobat. And I have now associated this validation script with my text edit field. I could also do one, uh, calculations here, which doesn't make a lot of sense if I only have one field, but if I had like a, a couple of, of fields with numbers in them, I could uh, create a total from that or whatever might be needed in any given form. So let me close this and play around with my reconfigured interactive form. So it can be empty, that's fine. It can have uh, a complete uh, credit card number, that's fine. If I do something like uh, lack one of the digits, it will complain, tell me that uh, I must have 16 digits. And it will also turn the text red into red so that I can clearly see where I'm having a problem here. Uh, and again, if I fix that, then I'm fine again. So it's exactly this appearance and behavior of the form field that I would like to get directly out of Adobe InDesign. In order to do this uh, using uh, made to tag I will now have to save this uh, enhanced um, form such that made to tag can use it as a template. Let me do a save as and I will have to find the location where I have to put this and if you look um, at task 7, create tag PDF file, the, the last step in, in the creation of uh, tag PDF files and made to tag, you will find an option towards the bottom where you can enable optimized form fields. And this is where I would have to put um, 
my uh, newly created uh, enhanced uh, fillable form PDF. So I'll click on Manage in the pop-up menu here, which takes me to the folder where these uh, template files are stored. And I will store my, my just created file here. And let me call this credit card template, credit card number template. And now let's go back to Adobe InDesign. I'll have to jump out of this step and jump to it again to make the pop-up menu update. This will be improved in a future version, but that's how it works at this moment. And as you can see, I have my credit card number template here in the, the pop-up menu. Let me uh, select it. Um, and now let me do the same export of the Adobe InDesign file to PDF as I've done before, but not using plain Adobe InDesign, but using the Create PDF button in uh, Made to Tag. So I'll click on Create PDF. I'll ask me where to store this. Credit card number, webinar exercise. And here it goes. Uh, at first glance, it looks exactly the same, but let's try what happens if we start entering data here. So, okay, so this looks different from the Times New Roman I was getting from the plain export out of Adobe InDesign. I get this OCRA font here, and uh, I can completely fill my number. Uh, again, if I do something that makes the credit card number not uh, conform to the rules, it will tell me credit card number must have 16 digits. Uh, I can say OK. Text will get highlighted as, as red, um, and I can then fix it if I want to fix it. The idea behind this process is very simple. Um, Adobe InDesign is limited when it comes to configuring features of, of form fields. All we have uh, are these options shown in the Buttons and Forms panel. It's better than nothing and it's, it's cool that we can create PDF form fields in uh, Adobe InDesign, but it's, at the same time it's pretty limited. Um, on the other hand, we have Adobe Acrobat, which is a quite nice and, uh, and mature editor for PDF uh, forms. Um, by using Adobe Acrobat as the editor for, for features of form fields. Um, and by bringing this together using made to tag we kind of use the best uh, of, of both worlds. So we have the rich capabilities of InDesign and regarding layout and so on, and the basic capabilities of form creation. We have uh, Acrobat Pro as an advanced form edi editing tool, and we have made to tag as an Adobe InDesign that brings uh, the form editing capabilities of Adobe Acrobat back into Adobe InDesign. The cool thing, of course, is that I only have to configure my form field features once in Adobe Acrobat, and I can use it and use it again and again. So I could change something here, like what would be typical in, in, uh, in a real-world workflow, um, and I have to do a lot of editing because the customer's needs are always changing. Um, maybe this has to sit on a yellow background. Uh, center back, make it yellow. I'm not claiming this looks nice, but you will get the idea. Um, I could also do something. Of course, I've prepared this somehow. Uh, I could use a comb and, oops, uh, as you can see I'm not doing this uh, on a daily basis, working in uh, Adobe InDesign. Was this a good idea? I guess so. Let me resize this so that it matches the comb. Okay, so you can all do all the nice things you can do in, in Adobe InDesign. And now upon, uh, let's move this around a little bit just to make this exercise more interesting. Um, I can do all this um, and then just do the export to PDF again using the same template that I had prepared. So this is export number two. So we get uh, a slightly different looking PDF file, but it still has all the features that we would expect now. You can fill in your credit card number, complaints if it's not good turns the color red and so on. So all the, the nice intelligence of the form field uh, is maintained regardless what, uh, what kind of layout changes I do around my 
form field. For those of you wondering how this is linked together, like the stuff you do in InDesign and the stuff you do in Adobe Acrobat, it is all linked uh, by means of the form field name. So here you have credit card number and in Adobe InDesign you have credit card number and it's this name of the form field that creates the link or the tie between what I do in InDesign and what I have configured in Adobe Acrobat for any given form field. Um, most forms will have more than one form field uh, and you could have any number of form fields in your PDF. Um, you would have uh, as many uh, form fields as needed in your template file um, and then you just build your uh, form in Adobe InDesign. Uh, select the template and it will pick up all the uh, configuration details of each and every form field in the template file. Just to show you uh, all some of the things that can be done. Um, I'm, so during our own uh, QA, we used a still relatively simple. Okay. Um, still relatively simple uh, PDF file that we've put together. And the stuff you can do is reflected here. Like you can uh, use uh, buttons and. The button will do something, like in this case, uh, fill some other form field. Uh, you can style uh, list boxes. So we are using the Euro style font for this one here. Um, you can do calculations, like in this case, it's telling me that 0 plus 0 is not or nothing. Uh, once I start entering uh, some different uh, numbers here, uh, it will add the numbers uh, and create a total. Uh, again, if I do something that will amount to zero again, and again it will tell me uh, that there's nothing or zero. Um, this is done using the calculation feature uh, in uh, Adobe Acrobat uh, form fields. Um, and as you can see, there's different coloring of the text and so on. So, and you could also do uh, signature fields, lots of things, radio buttons and so on. Um, so the, the options uh, are almost limitless, especially if you take JavaScript into account. Also, um, for those of you who care about tagging, um, we have done some, some research around, I will make this, let's do it like this. Um, we've done some research on uh, nesting uh, of frames in Adobe InDesign, and I think some of you will know that when you create a tag PDF using Adobe InDesign, um, anchored frames can be a problem. This is also true for form fields. As long as you only use simple anchoring, like anchoring a form field directly in a, in a text frame or a table cell, all is nice and uh, fine. But once you start doing this in a nested uh, manner, uh, for example by anchoring a form field first into a, a table or table cell, and then you anchor the table into a text frame, uh, then the form field will be missing from the tagging structure in an exported tag PDF. Um, and the ones that cause problems are highlighted here on, on this InDesign uh, document page in, uh, in whatever this is on the screen, like uh, a slightly reddish yellow. Um, and um, Make to tag does take care of uh, such nesting of, of anchored objects uh, and, and fixes the various issues. And what this means in terms of um, output, so let me just show you the problem in, in a PDF file that would have been created just using plain Adobe InDesign. Um, if I use, in this case, uh, Colors PDF Toolbox, so show me the tagging structure, um, you will find that this icon here with, with the word text in it uh, is a representation of, of a form field in this analytical structure view. And you will find that text field 1 is there, text field 2 is there, and text field 3 is there. But then the styling is broken for, for, for these further uh, form fields um, and they will be missing from the tagging structure or as in this case, the last case, 
they will be represented uh, as a figure, which of course is completely wrong. Um, this is different if you do the export using a made to tag in uh, Adobe InDesign and just use opening the same PDF if I can. Yeah. Um, and asking for the uh, structure view again. I will find that I not only have text field 1, text field 2 as form fillable form field, text field 3, but also all of the further ones uh, which are now uh, anchored in, in the fashion as uh, created in Adobe InDesign. So you have something where the form field is anchored in the text frame and then it's anchored inside the table cell. Uh, and further down you have something where text field 7 is anchored inside a table set and table, and then again the table is anchored inside another table. So regardless of uh, how deep you go, made to tag will take care of such nested anchoring. Um, those of you who have uh, tried building complex forms will probably see the value of being able to, to anchor form fields uh, in a nested fashion, because it gives you more control over a precise positioning uh, of form fields. And of course, if you're creating tag PDF files, it's important that they are represented properly in the resulting tagging structure. This is just an aside uh, regarding uh, form fields and uh, tagging uh, using meta tag. Uh, now let me go back to my presentation slides. Just to recap, um, when you create interactive PDF forms in Adobe InDesign, uh, you find that you have limited control over form fields. There are very few options regarding the form field appearance. You can't even pick your own font. You're limited to the default font, which is Times New Roman. Uh, you cannot add any intelligence inside Adobe InDesign to form fields, whether that's a JavaScript, some input validation rules, or anything else like that. Um, this implies that making the creating advanced forms just using Adobe InDesign is virtually impossible. Um, you will always have to do some manual post-processing in Adobe Acrobat, doing the steps I've been doing in this exercise, like uh, limiting uh, the number of characters to be entered into a form field, adding a JavaScript that does some validation, and so on. Um, and it's not just that you have to do that, you have to do it again and again each time you do a layout change in Adobe InDesign. Um, and you have to export the PDF again and then, yeah, you start over and do the same manual post-processing again. Um, obviously, this is highly error-prone, so you may miss uh, an important bit once in a while. Uh, and finding such errors is also very time-intensive and uh, makes quality assurance very expensive. Last but not least, unfortunately, there are also a couple of bugs in Adobe InDesign. I've shown uh, one of these. Uh, regarding uh, anchored frames, anchored fields in this case, and where, where such fields are anchored in text frames or table cells, especially when that happens in a nested fashion. Now, using made to tag, life becomes somehow easier. Um, and you can do a number of things directly from Adobe InDesign. Uh, and you have control over text formatting for form fields. You can pick the font, you can pick the color of the font and so on. You can apply some roles on the fields, like maximum number of characters. You can apply the comb feature. Uh, you have control over formatting of, uh, of data, like formatting of dates, zip codes, phone numbers and so forth. You can apply input validation. Uh, I've only shown a very simplistic e example. Uh, you can get as complex as is necessary to apply the validation. So you could find out whether the, the check digits in the credit card number are actually okay. Um, you can do calculations. So if your uh, fillable form happens to be an invoice or a similar form, uh, you could uh, create the, the total of all the uh, items uh, on the invoice um, and, and make the form much more useful. And, la and also you have uh, limitless uh, possibilities using JavaScript. You can attach JavaScript in a number of uh, places for, for the form fields, uh, whether you're doing calculations or formatting or validation and so on. And that, that, that's pretty cool. And there's a 
quite a number of other things um, that you can do. Just to make it clear again how this works, uh, the principle behind uh, what Metatech does here is that you can think of the whole process in two phases. And phase one is the setup. Um, so for, you create the form in Adobe InDesign, you export it to an interactive PDF in whatever fashion you could be using InDesign for this or Metatech. Uh, it will be um, what I would call a naked uh, PDF form, so it's, it's just the default appearance, it doesn't have any of the nice stuff yet. And you would then use Adobe Acrobat and adjust the PDF to your taste, whether you're adding calculations or validation or for just formatting or whatever, you do all that. And then you save this enhanced PDF file as a template for meta tag in the uh, template folder for the form field feature. So this you have to do once um, for, for each and every form field. Um, and then in phase two, you do the actual work in InDesign. And uh, typically, uh, a layout undergoes uh, many changes. Um, so you do your work in InDesign. Each time you're, you're done uh, with a version, um, you export to PDF, now using made to tag This will not work without made to tag um, You pick the right template that contains the enhanced form fields with all the adjustments you've made um, and save out the PDF and again the export to PDF will then have all the rich features that you have configured. You can do this over and over again um, and you don't have to start over to manual post-processing or excessive quality assurance. Uh, as explained before, uh, the connector between InDesign and, and the enhanced uh, PDF forms um, is the name of a form field, so each field is identified by its name. Uh, and as long as you use the same name in Adobe InDesign and in your Adobe Acrobat enhanced uh, PDF form, uh, Metatag will make sure that all the enhancements that you have configured will be injected into uh, the newly created PDF when uh, exported using uh, Metatag. This brings me to the end of my presentation. Uh, I hope you found it useful somehow. If you have any questions, please let us know. The question panel in the webinar software is waiting for you. Um, we have shipped this new version of Metatag two days ago on Tuesday this week. Um, and you can find it on axayo.com. Um, if you are, if you don't own Metatag yet, you can download the trial version, which will run fully functional for 30 days, so ample time to find out whether this feature is of interest to you or if, whether any of the other features are important to you. Um, if you have any questions after this webinar, uh, please send an email to support at axayo.com. Um, we tend to read emails that we get at support at axayo.com and we also usually reply with them one business day. Um, we, would, we would like to hear from you uh, when you're using this feature, uh, what you like, what you don't like, where there are possible opportunities for enhancing the feature. Uh, so let us know what you think about it. Um, and um, we plan to, as we have always done with all the other features in Metatag, to refine uh, this new feature over time. But uh, before we, we start doing this, we would love to hear uh, your feedback. Okay, so uh, thanks a lot for attending this webinar and uh, for being with us. Please uh, get in touch uh, if you have any questions or feedback using support at axai.com. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. Have a nice day or evening, depending on where you are, and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Goodbye. Bye-bye.